Greetings, everyone. I'm Stefan, and with the betrayal and beheading of Kat, uh, we really gotta find new people. So what I think we'll do is go and pop open this ancient danger and see what's inside. Using an embrasure, we should be able to see what's inside without it actually coming out and uh, biting us. For now, though, we'll let stone rest up and uh, possibly butcher these sheep, because we have really no grass on the map to feed them. And all the grass that is on the map is going to go to emergency food. Oh, let's see. Quick sleeper, slowpoke, brawler. Really bad. Uh, we don't really want brawlers in this colony. Because uh, although melee characters are relatively decent in combat extended, you don't really want to deal with that. Ideally, you want to spend as little time as possible on combat. And if you have to get in melee range, you're already wasting a lot of time. So instead, we're just going to strip this guy and uh, get his military jacket. This would be pretty awesome. Monstone, you can make it. Awesome. <laughs> just perfect. Stone really is looking more and more fine every day. Oh no. She was right about to eat some food before she just succumbed to death. Yep. That's a shame. I guess the food is coming in a bit earlier than expected. Alright, let's do this. Ancient danger? Don't care. Pop it open and see what's inside. Alright, looks like we got some mechanoids. Uh, this guy's equipped with a mortar. Uh, this guy as well. And we got a lance over here. Got some luciferium, some medicine, and a skill trainer. As well as a bunch of crypto sleep caskets. We're going to want to pop one of those open, although we want to really take out the mechanoids first and foremost. Let's see. Alright, the mortar shells in this game do take a while to travel. But we can just dodge out of the way. Alright, got one. Got two. Oh, really? You're, you're gonna hide. Buddy. That's better. Alright, so we took all the mechanoids out. Uh, let's evacuate the tomb and uh, let's see who's inside. I'm gonna pop the skill trainer just to make sure uh, the value isn't affecting our colony wealth. Pick up all the glitter world medicine and uh, all the luciferium. Alright, now that the good stuff is out of the way, we can pop this open and see who's inside. Alright, we got a bunch of people inside and only one of them appears to be hostile. Yodi. Now all these people uh, seem pretty well equipped. So downing them and stripping them is going to be some pretty high priority stuff. We're not going to let these people just leave. Uh, we also have a bunch of mega scarabs. Why can we tame them? Hold on. Wait, are they actually not hostile? Alright, Q's down. Death in three hours. That was bad. <laughs> we got some explosions going. Uh, Q is still fine. Uh, considering how these bugs can be tamed, I'm pretty sure they're not hostile. Pop open the tomb and strip some of these people. You has some very nice recon armor that I want to get if all possible. However, we have to deal with- Oh my god. We have to deal with Coyote first. Alright, 
I got Coyote down. So first things first, we're gonna wanna beat out this fire uh, just to make sure it doesn't spread and destroy everything else. Uh, we'll check these people out. Now Q right here did lose a kidney, uh, but she is a pretty decent character as far as shooting goes. Pretty much nothing else though. Let's see. Yodi is a kind cannibal. Um, strange, but if we can put her arm back on, we can potentially capture her. And Mila is a decent cook. Uh, I'm not sure about these other people. Uh, hopefully someone like Jane will drop down and uh, <laughs> give me her power armor. That'd be pretty awesome. Uh, for now though, we'll just strip everyone and uh, try to sell the proceeds as quickly as possible. Because this is going to be a whole bunch of colony wealth that we're going to be dealing with. Honestly, even though Coyote is missing an arm, uh, probably the number one go-to for actually capturing. So we'll stabilize Coyote. Just to make sure she doesn't bleed out. And then deal with these other people whose stuff I very, very much want. Jane, for instance. God, the power armor is just incredible. She will fall down in eight hours. I just don't think that's enough. This right here is probably going to be able to escape. Trigger happy brave shooting 16. I want this person, <laughs> but there's no way uh, I'll be able to get him. I guess we can just keep peppering Jane and get her power armor. Alright, we got Jane down. Now let's strip her. <laughs> Grab her power armor. And now Stone is a monster. Alright, let's uh let's get Sergeant. Jane isn't a very good character at all. Sergeant is a brawler and he can't do dumb labor, so he'll just get downed and stripped. The other guy did escape, but now we got Coyote uh, to capture and a bunch of gear. Now that we have all these goodies, uh the only problem is. <laughs> Our colony wealth has about tripled. So once we get Coyote on board, the next raid is going to be three times as difficult as the ones we've had previously. Ooh, Thrombos are back. Now at this point we can take them on uh, with a charge rifle, although considering our colony wealth situation, <laughs> I don't think it'd be a particularly good idea. Alright, we got a transporter quest. And considering our colony wealth, it does make sense to get some of these higher tier uh, quests. Let's take this one. Are you serious? <laughs> Where did it crash? Are you... What, what? What? Did it... Did it land and crash the civilians? Are, seriously? All right, I, I see how it is. Now, oh, would you look at that? We got another refugee quest. This time it's Lisa. We're gonna be far less lenient with Lisa than we were with uh, Kat. Because she might be a traitor too. Are you serious? She comes in with a flake addiction. All right, Lisa, you're not uh, probably gonna summon a raid. Yep. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna exile you. Drop your flake and get out of here. All right, let's see here. We got four humans. They're attacking from all directions, and there's two other people. And this guy, this guy has an ice pick. I'm afraid. Well, in any case, ice pick should be no match for uh, designated sniper rifle. Bop, bop. All right, let's see about this guy. Tortured Artist, Neurotic, Nimble. Tortured Artist. Could be good. He does have a passion for crafting. Oh, he's gonna bleed out, isn't he? I have an idea. Uh, Lisa? <laughs> you go get captured. Uh, Stone's gonna... Make sure this guy is nice and safe. Horn it. Don't you dare come close to my kill. I gotta use some more good medicine just to make sure this process doesn't take forever. This is exactly what I wanted Lisa to do. You know, Lisa 
is a far better refugee than Cat. Got herself captured, you know, preventing this raid. You know what? We don't need to treat you with actual medicine. We got time. Are you scumbags? It's just one of them decided to capture Lisa. The rest are just vandalizing my, my precious mountain. All right, you're gonna pay for this. Get away from my mountain. Oh, we got a wanderer joining. Oh, yeah, that that's great. Thanks, uh, thanks, Igor. It's not like we have two people uh, that we're gonna recruit soon. Ah, oh, well, you do seem like a pretty decent character. Body purist isn't good in the long term, but she's not really missing any uh, limbs. <laughs> Although I would love to replace her uh, arms. We're gonna need a lot of arms. I think prosthetics is uh, probably the priority research right now. Well, nose. I hope you do better than uh, <laughs> than the other joiners. We don't really have a good track record, but uh, let's see if you can change the trend. The only issue with nose joining is that now we have a lot of mouths to feed, so we're gonna have to expedite our uh, growing program. Fortunately, it is September and things are getting cold, uh, which means that we're gonna have to rely on animals for now. Animals that we really don't have on the map. Now that the raids are gonna be coming more quickly, uh, we have a more serious problem about what to do with this colony wealth. Uh, regarding those of fearing, could probably start snorting it. It might not seem like the best idea, but if we have a Luciferium addiction, uh, there's a very good chance that traders will carry Luciferium. That's going to be a very good sink for our colony wealth. Boosting stone also wouldn't be a bad idea considering how he's an absolute beast. So let's make a bargain with the devil and start taking the Luciferium. Now stone is going to be all boosted, his bite scar is going to heal, uh, but we are going to be left with a bit of a problem. And the good thing about having these uh, Crypto Sleep Caskets open is that if we really run out of Luciferium and there's no way to get it, we can get Stone to enter one of these and wait until we do have them. Alright, we got a raid. Fortunately, they will prepare for a while before attacking, so... That means that we can either sneak up on them or just uh, wait a while. Poor guy. Alright, another one down. And now they're retreating. Awesome. Oh. You know what? If uh, Igor wants to keep sending us food, that works. Awesome. You recruit Coyote. Oh, combat supplier. That is very good. Yep, we got a lot of junk here. Now let's buy a bit of medicine. And let's buy this recon helmet. This way Stone is going to be fully armored. And there will be a risk of some stray pistol ball just killing him outright. We'll also buy a bit of Prometheum and FSX to make ammo. So, this should be good. Alright, new day, new raid. Uh, these guys have stick bombs at this point, which is not good at all. Uh, although they will be preparing for a while before attacking, so we just shoot them from a distance. In fact, let's just have Coyote do some uh, shooting practice. <laughs> oh no, they're attacking. Coyote is a pretty good shot at this point. We got Coyote to level up once, let's see if we can level up twice. Coyote is a solid shot, although getting peppered from a close range is not very ideal. We'll send a nose- oh! Well, that's what you get for being arrogant, I guess. Seriously? Coyote didn't last very long at all. Wow, alright. <laughs> that's what happened to the Comet Extended. Some people just kinda die. And we got reinforcements now. They're not too bad, but... <sighs> this is so, so sad. Oh no. That's not ideal either. <laughs> At least they're fleeing now. There's still hostiles on the map. Oh god. Just don't stabilize nose. Don't worry about the cook-off. Gotta deal with this.
where they start blowing my base up. Oh, he killed my iguana! How dare you! All right. This is this is bad. This is very bad. Ah, so much good gear lost right here. Oh, thank you, Igor, for uh, for those rare thrombos. Real nice. <laughs> Nose went into a daze, and uh, Stone managed to woo her <laughs> in her vulnerable state. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, well, I guess that works. So in exchange for losing a colonist, we now got lovers. And having Stone and Nose be lovers is going to help us significantly. Because that means a bunch of extra mood buffs. And uh, overall, other than this days, uh, Stone and Nose shouldn't go insane for quite a while. But anyways, that'll do it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.